Good evening, my brothers and sisters. It's New Year's Eve. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. We're going to say goodbye to 2021. And as far as I'm concerned, we can't do it quick enough. It was a rough year, a tough year, a year of challenges beyond belief. And we're about to enter 2022. And I'm asking the Lord for his favor to fall upon you and me and all of us as we look for the blessings of God to be showered down upon us. I want to enter with some word as we get ready to go into this new year. And I want to reference you to the 95th number of Psalms. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is also his. The sea is his and he made it and his hands formed the dry land. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker, for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if ye will hear his voice. Those words are so profound for us tonight as we get ready to enter this brand new year with great expectation, great anticipation. We're looking for God to bless us. Yes, we are. And we're going to claim these blessings in the name of Jesus. We have been through a literal difficult season. And God says it does not last forever. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Storm clouds gather, but they soon pass away. And I believe we're coming to that time now when we're going to be able to smile. Oh, now, wait a minute. Let me get you right. Please, get don't, don't get me wrong, I should say. There are going to be difficulties in 2022. Yes, I mentioned that in a previous sermon uh, from my pulpit this past Sunday. Yeah, weather is still going to be a problem. Climate change has caused so many difficulties, terrible storms. There's a threat of war around this earth. Yes, it is. But the pandemic is going to be reduced to an endemic. The physicians say that it will take the same course as maybe the flu. It will always be with us, COVID that is. We'll always be with us, but it won't be as dangerous as it has been. And as long as we can vaccinate against it, we'll be okay. But we're going to go into this year with great expectation, believing God for his miracles, for his blessing. And I claim it in the mighty name of Jesus as I talk to you right now, as I speak to you and I speak for you. The blessings of God are upon us. The blessings of the Lord are upon us. We are the sheep of his pasture and he is going to show us his love. And I'm claiming for you right now in the mighty name of Jesus, new beginnings, great inspirations, achievements on every level. I'm claiming right now better health, prosperity. I'm claiming right now for each and every one of you, your joy and your happiness to return to you again because we lost it. Our routines were broken by that pandemic. We we suffered loss of loved ones. We buried so many people. We said farewell, goodbye to so many dear friends, so many church members. It's been rough, but we're going into 2022. Now, comparison of the Jewish calendar, it's a time of celebration. The Jewish calendar talks about a period of celebration in this coming year. And I'm claiming it in the name of Jesus again for you. So right now, open your hearts, believe in your heart, and receive this right now. Say, I will be blessed in 2022. I will receive the blessings of God in 2022. I will receive the wondrous love, the favor of God. In 2022, my life will turn around in 2022. Things will be better in 2022. In the awesome, magnificent name of Jesus, I declare it, I decree it, I receive it. It will be done. God bless you. Happy New Year. Yes. Happy New Year. Step 
and to your face, your blessings. God bless you. Bye-bye, everyone.